Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this lad. I'll be doing a review on it. It is the Litheli U20 cordless hedge trimmer. Now, you may or may not notice, but behind us here is a big hedge, big Leyland Eye hedge. And I cut all of that yesterday with this on one charge using the battery that is supplied with it. So I was very pleased with that because it took me maybe 50 minutes or so on and off, you know, cutting, tidying up, cutting, tidying up, moving around and so on. You'll see in the video. So starting with the blades under here, which is the cover, which incidentally is a very well made, smart, strong cover. There's the blades. Just give them a bit of a turn. And that has a 51 centimeter cut from here to here, or roughly 20 inches. And the manufacturer says that it will cut up to four fifths of an inch, or round about 19 to 20 millimeters. Obviously, I don't want to stick my fingers in there even if this isn't on I tend to treat these things like a loaded gun you know you don't want to ever be near the dangerous end with your fingers we've got a little guard on here just to stop any muck from dropping down inside the mechanism when you're using it a handle which goes around the front which has one of the safety switches on the second safety switch is on the back handle so that trigger will not operate the machine that will not operate the machine, but when you press them both together, it will operate the blades. The machine itself looks absolutely beautiful. And if you check the link out in the video description for the Litheli website, you won't believe the price it's being sold for. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because obviously those prices change month in, month out, or if they have any promotions on, but at the minute it is on promotion and it is absolutely worth it, I can tell you that already. Now the electric motor is housed in here and it's powered by a removable battery which when I press this release button here will pop out, literally pop out and that's the battery there uh, no actually it isn't, well it is the battery but I've actually swapped the 2 amp hour battery that came with this machine for one I had already, which is a 4 amp hour battery. Now Litheli say that the 2 amp hour battery, which comes with the machine, will give approximately 35 minutes of run time, whereas the 4 amp hour one will obviously give twice that, because it's got twice the capacity. Both the 2 amp hour and the 4 amp hour battery are the same size, but the 4 amp hour one is about 100 grams or, oh god, I don't know what that is in in ounces for you guys in the US. It's Anyway, it's about 100 grams heavier. It just pops in like this. It's a secure fit. Nothing at all rattling about. As I said, it's an awesome piece of kit. Really good. Now the total weight of this machine with the battery in and with the cover on, which obviously wouldn't be on when you're operating it, but the entire weight of it is 3.2 kilos with the 4 amp hour battery in and 3.1 kilos with the 2 amp hour battery in. So as it comes from Litheli, it would weigh 3.1 kilos. Okay, so that was the previous Litheli product that I did a review on on this channel, which I'll link to in the video description and also in the pinned comment. This is the Eclair 1000 power station. It's got a nation of different outlets on there. Tab lighter, in and out, on off button. Two battery slots, which is very important because you can charge your batteries directly in this power station without any cables. You literally just slot them in, press the on button, and they charge up from the stored power that's in here. This can be charged from the mains, and it also can be charged via a solar panel. Now, I'm not going to drag the solar panel out. You've 
seen these things before. So you can literally power your power tools from the sun, which is a great idea. And really, for what they are, these batteries are not expensive. Again, they're on offer at the minute. They're good value, especially the 4 amp hour one because it's got twice the capacity of the 2 and it isn't that much more expensive. Now also on this thing you've got your inlets and outlets, various sockets. This is the US version because this was an early model that Lefeli sent me. But there is UK models available now. Oh, and it's also got a charger on the top. If you've got a mobile phone or any other sort of small device that will charge wirelessly, just drop it on the top and it'll charge up. This is excellent. So this is really the heart of the Lethelli system. Unless you're charging the batteries just with a USB cable or something. This would hold the batteries, charge the batteries that would power all of your tools. So as soon as you've finished one, pop it out. Swap it over. And you're away again. That quick. Now previous to having this cordless hedge trimmer, I was using a big petrol one. And because I would generally only use a hedge cutter from spring through till autumn, every spring was an absolute nightmare getting the petrol one going. I'm just going to sell that one now because this is so much more convenient and clean and it does just as good a job as you'll see in the video of me cutting that hedge. Now talking of that hedge, yesterday I worked out the square meterage of the hedge that I would have to cut and it worked out at approximately 56 square meters which for you guys in the US is just over 600 square feet of hedge. Coincidentally as I was getting towards the end of the cut, when I was up a height, going through all the decent sized branches that were coming up, I could feel the machine slowing down a little bit. Obviously the battery was wearing down. It cut the last piece, and then I went to trim a tiny little bit that was hanging out on the front of the hedge, and there was nothing left in the battery. So it worked out absolutely perfectly. So I can say with absolute confidence that the two amp hour battery will cut 56 square meters of hedge. If it's like that one behind us, which is a Leyland eye hedge, typical sort of English tight hedge. That works out at just over 600 square feet for the two amp hour battery. Obviously those figures are doubled for the four amp hour battery. And if a bigger capacity battery becomes available, they'll be increased again.
So there you go, it did just as good a job as my petrol hedge cutter in the same time, so it didn't struggle until the battery was just about to die. But that's to be expected. Drills and every other sort of battery powered things do the same. I managed to keep it clean whilst doing the job. Nothing has come loose. It is really well made. It's a pleasure to use because it isn't heavy. You're not getting smoke and all sorts of muck in your face from a petrol one. When using this, you don't have to worry about tripping up over cables, dragging extension cables out, or powering the thing because the power is in here. Everything's self-contained. It's just a really good hedge cutter. And I can't wait to test their other products because they do have a wide range of garden tools. And they all seem to get pretty good reviews as well online. So they're definitely on to a winner here. Oh, man. Oh. Man, that does smell like gasoline. That's an improvement, man. Come on, let's blow this. And this looks a hell of a lot neater now, thanks to this hedge cutter. Even my little tree got the treatment. Look at that man. Totally neat. And here's the hedge that I did at the start of the video. Quite a lot neater. <laughs> 